my friends and welcome back to another how to style video and uh, today we're going to show you how to tie a butcher's knot a traditional butcher's knot now what we have here is some proper butcher's twine now obviously it's really important that you use <clears throat> the real the real deal for this you can't just use any sort of twine it has to be food grade um, and safe to go in the oven as well so what I'm going to show you is a traditional butcher's knot, I'll show you a couple of different ways of doing it. What I have here is a joint of beef. Now this is what we would call a salmon cut. Um, a lot of people call it different things around the world. Um, it's basically off the end of the silver side. I think in America it might be called the eye of the round. You can see it's quite an even piece of meat so probably we wouldn't actually need to tie this for sale in um, in the shop but it's a nice piece to demonstrate the knot on and the whole purpose of tying a butcher's knot is to make a piece of meat nice and uniform so it roasts or cooks nice and even all the way throughout so obviously as you can tell that's why we wouldn't need knots around here because that is quite a nice solid even piece of meat but it'll be ideal to demonstrate on so yeah we just need proper traditional butcher's twine something to hold it I'm just using a Pyrex glass here and ideally you want this beneath the level of your worktop so we'll pop that underneath and just a nice sharp knife to cut your knots off so we'll get set up and I'll show you how to do this knot just now so we're ready to go and show you how to do this traditional knot so we have the twine actually beneath the level of the cutting board here now, I like to start my knot in the middle of a joint and then one on each end and then work in steps between those knots. All we need to do is slide the twine under the joint. Again, we're going from the center of the joint here. So you can see I've got the end of the string away from me on the joint. I'm going to pull that up and over the joint, just like so. Now. It's going to go just to the left of this piece of twine and underneath it. So you can see that's underneath, just like that, underneath. Now, I'm going to take two fingers under this, this top loop here, and we're going to wrap the string around and feed it back through that loop. I'm going to pull that off and we're just going to tie a simple knot in the end just to stop the slip knot from sliding off the end of the rope. Now it's just a case of pulling the knot tight and there's no way that's going anywhere. That's got a real solid hold. And then with what we have left, we're just going to make a loop with our fingers and just pull that through and tie off a knot in the end like that. So I'll show you that again. So I like to work from the middle and then I'll put one on each end to hold the piece of meat nice and firm in place. So again we're going over the top of the joint. This is coming underneath. I'm going to take two fingers and we're going to wrap that round. You can see I'm making a loop and then bring it through that loop. Bring the end of the string through the loop. Pull that off. And we're just going to tie a simple knot in the end. Again, just to stop the slip knot from sliding off the end of the joint or the end of the string, sorry. Pull up. Tie it off just like so and again you can see that is going nowhere and then we'll just take another loop and we'll pull that through the loop just to tie it off and we'll snip the end of the string just like so so I'll show you that technique one more time and then I'll show you an alternative so we'll go to the far end this time 
So one more time, it's coming underneath. We're going to make a loop with our two fingers. Just make a loop and bring the end of the string through. Pull that off and we'll tie a simple knot in the end again just to slot, stop that slip knot sliding off the end. And pull that nice and tight. Simple loop in the end. And cut it off just like so. So you can see I've got three parallel strings there. And trust me, they are going nowhere. And it's all about that final pull. You pull it nice and tight and give it as much pressure as you want. So, an alternative, it's basically the same knot. We'll do it in the middle of these two here. So again, just as before, I'll just shift this forward so you can see slightly better. Just as before, it's underneath. Instead of going through the loop this time, pull it around the back. So I'll just show you that again. So it's underneath, underneath the string. Make the same loop as before, but instead of going this way through, we'll make the same loop and we'll go back on ourselves that way. And we don't need to tie a knot in the end this time. And just pull that nice and tight. And we finish off the exact same way by tying that off, snipping it. And yes, the knife does need to sharpen desperately. So I'll show you that technique one more time. So just as before, it's underneath. And instead, where previously we showed you how to do that, you go around the back, pull it back through. Pull that tight, twist the loop, and snip it off just like so. And you can see that is beautifully tied. And again, if you want to finish it off, you can do a lengthways one. And again, I'll show you the first technique once more. So we've gone the whole length of the joint, it's underneath, make a loop, bring it back through that loop, tie a little knot in the end, and just pull it as tight as you want, and a little knot in the end, and it's easy, as easy as that. There you go. Almost professional, eh? So with a little bit of practice, you can nail this. It's it's so easy to do, and it, you know, if you're doing any kind of home but butchery, it's going to give your presentation. It's just going to take it to the next level. Now, when you first tie this knot, you probably have a little bit of pain on the outside of your hand from pulling the string tight. I don't know if it's showing up, but mine is probably very calloused. I don't know if you can pick it up on the camera, but I tie probably, oh, I probably about a thousand of these knots a week, um, so I'm quite used to it. Um, but stick with it, you know. Practice on a tin of beans, anything you want. It's a great knot to have. It's it's a great skill to learn, and yeah, you'll be able to do something just like this in no time at all. So thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed the video or you'd like to see regular updates of what we do on this channel, uh, please subscribe. Feel free to leave comments. Feel free to leave any video suggestions that you would might like to see. Um, and hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.